everybody, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here. We are with Gigabyte at CES 2018, and we are checking out a brand new motherboard for AMD's second generation Ryzen processors. I'm with Matt. I'm gonna let Matt show off some of the cool features, but just quickly, just by looking at it, you can see this board has some really cool design aesthetic, uh, metal reinforced slots, metal reinforced dim slots, you have your postcode error reporter here, dual bio switches, tons of connectivity, but I am not gonna steal Matt's thunder. Matt, why don't you show off some of the cool stuff on here? Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this board. Um, we put a lot of time and effort into listening to your guys' comments, um, feedback, whether it's through forums, YouTube comments, articles um, that Hot Hardware puts up. Um, we really do pay attention to what you guys wanna see on a board. So for this generation, uh, as you can see, we actually have thinned heat sinks here. I know that was a little bit of a concern with some of the previous boards, so um, we took that feedback and we went for something a little bit more aggressive um, and a little bit better performance. So on this board, you're going to get a 10 plus 2 uh, IR solution up here. Uh, the heatsink also has a copper heat pipe that makes direct contact uh, on both the front and the back here. Uh, if we can flip the board around real quick, I'm excited about this one, something I actually pushed for. Uh, so the rear I.O. The IO shield is integrated. You're gonna have an Intel two plus or two by two solution right here. Uh, and then we also added a power and a clear CMOS button. Uh, the power button you can change to a reset button if you don't want it to just shut down. You're uh, overclocking, you need to flip back and forth. Uh, that's also why we put the dual BIOS on it. Um, on this board, you're also gonna get two M.2s as opposed to one on a previous generation. Uh, and then we updated the uh, heat sinks here. The heat sinks up here, added a little bit of digital RGB up here if that's something that you're into. Um, but we took a lot of time and effort in this board. Um, when you get the, the full rundown and the full specs, you'll see that the fan header placement um, is something that we put a lot of time and effort into. You're going to get one down here for your CPU coolers so you can hide the uh, cable. Um, you're going to get you know a bunch up here, a couple down here. You're going to get two digital RGB headers on it. So it really is your playground to make whatever kind of system you want out of it. Great, looks great. Can't wait to get our hands on it. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, cool. Thanks.